All right, guys, we are back. And once again, we're going to talk a little bit more about this Ryan Garcia, Rolando, Roly Romero situation. Now, the other day, some of you guys know I did a rant on Ryan Garcia. I kind of went off on the deep end uh, because I've been giving Ryan so much props, so many props uh, since the Javante Tank Davis fight. And, you know, I changed my tune on him. I had a newfound respect for the kid. I thought that maybe... You know, he really did want to be taken seriously as a fighter when a, a lot of people were saying that he wanted to be a social media star. And, you know, boxing was his head wasn't really in boxing. And I gave him the benefit of the doubt. He seemed like to me that he was turning over a new leaf. Uh, he seemed to be wanting to fight the best competition out there. And, and that's what I wholeheartedly believe up until what he just did with that Devin Haney situation. You know, that really got up under my skin. And that's why I, I went on a rant. And the rant kind of included Roley as well uh, because, you know, he was just a part of it. And uh, today I'm back to my normal self. I'm, you know, I'm not going to get outside of my character like that. But uh, I was upset. So, you know, I gave you, you guys, you know, the raw, real, how I actually felt. And just to recap, you know, the whole situation. We know that Ryan, you know, wanted to fight Devin Haney next uh, for the WBC title. You guys know Devin Haney is the WBC 140-pound champion. Now, he said that, you know, if that fight didn't happen, that it was going to be because of Devin Haney. He even went as far as turning Roley down when Roley asked to make this fight happen on his social media, telling Roley that, you know, you're too late, your team was too late. Uh, I'm all, already in negotiations with Devin Haney. And I was like, wow, look at this guy. And then he turns around, does a complete 360. And says he doesn't want to fight Devin anymore. He wants to fight Rolando Roley Romero. And the speculation was that Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. got in his ear. We've seen him hanging around Floyd. We've seen them doing interviews together. We've seen them doing uh, road work at 3 a.m. in the morning on video. We know that Roley fights under the TMT banner. So we know that Floyd possibly got in his ear and said, hey, if you want to make this Devin Haney fight that much bigger, don't fight Devin next. Fight my guy, Roley, who is the WBA champion, capture that belt, and then you can go back and fight Devin Haney, making that fight much bigger. It's the Floyd Money Mayweather effect. It's the Floyd Money Mayweather blueprint. We know that. We know he likes to marinate these fights and make them bigger. And I don't really have a problem with that, but my problem with Ryan is once you committed to that Devin Haney fight, you know, you, you shouldn't back out your commitment. Because you've done this in the past, you've pulled out of fights, and now, you know, you're all the way back to square one, what people think about you. People think that you're, you know, you don't have any integrity. You don't really want to be a fighter. And that's why I was so upset about it. That's why, you know, I went on that rant. Because it just took everything back to square one. And here's the thing. You, you, you talk about fighting Roley for the WBA title. But the thing is that you and Roley have, you got one big ass problem. And that one big ass problem is Ismail Barroso. Ismail Barroso is your, you guys big ass problem. Because the, the, fact, the, the fact is that Ismail Barroso is now the WBA interim champion. He stepped in to fight Roley's mandatory O'Hara Davies. Because Roley said that he had an injury. And he stopped O'Hara Davies in the first round. So that makes him an interim champion. And he has to fight the winner of that fight, which was, of course, Barroso by March 20th. So if you don't do that, then there's a possibility that you get stripped of the WBA title. So there goes your fight for a title.
You know, you you fight Roley. There's there's no title there if Roley gets stripped. Now they could pay Ismael Barroso step aside money. You know, if he takes it, then you don't have to worry about Barroso. But I'm praying to God that he doesn't. I'm praying to God that he doesn't want to take step aside money. I'm praying to God that he wants to face Rolando Roly Romero for the simple fact that he was robbed in that first fight. The powers that be robbed Ismael Barroso of the WBA title. He should be the champion right now, not Rolando Roly Romero. And I'm tired of guys getting chances who don't deserve it. And guys who do deserve it and make a name for themselves just because they don't have a face or, you know, they're not as marketable not getting a shot when they deserve a shot. And Ismael Barroso deserves a shot. It would be nice if he would fight Barroso, uh, let's say March 20th, which is the deadline. That's actually my, my birthday. And that would be a great birthday present to watch Ismael Barroso knock out Roly Romero and spoil the whole damn thing. Because th th this, th he doesn't deserve that title. And Ryan undermines his, his integrity, and it just stinks to high heaven. It just stinks to high heaven. That's your big-ass problem, Ismael Barroso. And I'm praying to God that he wants to face Roley, because I know in my heart, if Roley fights Barroso next, <laughs> Roley's getting knocked out, in my opinion. He's getting knocked out. That guy is the boogeyman at 140, in my opinion. He's an older guy, but he's a dangerous fighter, and they want to avoid him at all costs. They don't want him messing up the money train. Even though he did everything that he needed to do to put himself in that position to, to be a champion. But we'll see what happens with this. But that's your big-ass problem. Now, you guys let me know what you think about it. Uh, would you be satisfied with them paying Ismael Barroso step-aside money? Do you want to see Ismael Barroso get his opportunity like I do? How do you feel about Ryan Garcia pulling out of the fight with Devin Haney? Listening to Floyd Money Mayweather. You guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.